it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Uh, today's video is for the May Polish Pickup. I have so many amazing brands to share with you all today. Quite a few um, new to the channel brands as well as new to me brands. Um, I am just <laughs> super, super excited to share these. I am so sorry the video is going up so late. Um, I had some issues with my hard drives and I had to order a new one and I was not able to edit for quite a while. I know someone is going to ask, well, I'll say it now, um, on my nails today I have Neon Yellow Sparks by Fancy Gloss. This is available right now. I think today is actually the last day for the pre-order. And on my lips I have uh, Bewildered by Zombie Claw. And then on top, so this is the liquid lip, and on top of that I have Death by Candy, also by Zombie Claw. So um, I will have all of the information that you need down in the description box. Um, my blog post with all of my swatch photos are up on NicoleLovesNails.com, which will also be linked down below. And let's just get into it. First up, we have Alter Ego with Get Your Red Hot Dogs Here. This is inspired by hot dogs and is described as a glossy red. It's priced at $10 and has a cap of 100 bottles. Get Your Red Hot Dogs Here had a great formula. It didn't feel thick or thin and I didn't have any application issues. This in person, this is like a red carpet red. So while I was swatching this, I swear I was seeing a very slight color shift. I tried showing it here in the video. I'm not sure if I completely got it or if it was just like a trick in my lighting or what, but I was seeing a very slight color shift on the nail. This is very opaque and I would recommend um, wearing base coat if you are prone to red polishes staining you. I did not have any staining with this polish. Just a heads up though. Hey, so Nicole here. So I don't know where my footage is for the Alter Ego um, acetone additive. I recorded it. I had it on my camera. I don't know where it is. I cannot find it. So I don't have footage for that. I do have pictures of um, using the acetone additive with um, using the acetone additive as well as what my fingers look like without using the acetone additive. So I do like it a lot. The fragrance for this month is, um, one is a hot dog fragrance and the other one is bread. Yes, hot dog and bread. Um, so I have them in here. One of the, so they're mini size bottles. I found that one of the mini size containers works well with four, ounce, four ounces of acetone. Um, I didn't find it too, um, like uh, greasy or anything like that. I found it worked really, really well. The formula was slightly thicker than what I am used to for acetone additive. Usually I use the Heather's Hughes acetone additive and I've used the Bliss Kiss one before as well. Um, it works really, really well. The fragrance, the, the smells, um, the hot dog one definitely smells like meat, <laughs> which sounds really weird. Um, and the bread one smells very bready, but without smelling yeasty. It's really, it's really interesting because I didn't think you could smell like bread without yeast, but it kind of does it. It's, it's really weird, um, but a good weird. I like it. I think the products are good. Um, I will note that when I use the hot dog one, that I do wash my hands after using it because I don't really love how the meat scent mixes with my very fruity smelling lotions and cuticle oils. Um, but it works great. I do think the product itself is really good. And I just, I don't know, I feel like it's going to rub people the wrong way. I saw in on Facebook people were just like, hot dog? But yeah, it's really good. I have talked on enough. Um, yeah. I'm just really kind of freaking out because the footage is gone and I'm just like, so when I'm nervous, I talk a lot. So back to Next the up is Baby Girl Lacquer with O-R-E-O's and this is inspired by Oreos and it's described as a chocolate and vanilla scented magnetic polish with an assortment of white and UCC mega flakies as well as chocolate glitters. It is priced at $12 for 15 mLs and has a cap of 100 bottles. This had a great formula. Uh, it was slightly on the thicker side and it was actually really surprisingly opaque on the first coat, but I did not have any application issues. Um, I will note that um, the magnetic effect in this polish will be stronger in bottles sold during polish pickup. 
Um, for the fragrance in this polish, I found that I was getting um, the vanilla scent the most and like a hint of chocolate. It was not overwhelming at all. Um, I did not do a wear test to see how long the fragrance lasted, but usually I find scented polishes last with the fragrance somewhere between one to three days depending on the polish. So this was opaque in two coats and I use a third coat to do the magnetized layer. I feel like in my swatch photos it's not super obvious and you can see it better in the movement shots and like I mentioned the magnetic uh, shimmer will be stronger in bottles purchased during polish pickup. Next up we have Bees Knees Lacquer with Awakened. This one is inspired by the novel Lover Awakened. It's described as a soft sky blue with shimmer that shifts from white gold to gold to emerald to blue at extreme angles. It's priced at $13 for 15 ml and it has no cap. No surprise to anyone, this had a wonderful formula. It didn't feel overly thick or thin and I did not have any application issues. The shimmer in this is not brush strokey at all and it is very, very strong. If you love Bees Knees Shifty Shimmer Polishes, you will love this one. I found this to be a solid three coater. I did have some visible nail line, so it's just a tiny bit sheer, but I feel like the shimmer largely distracts from your visible nail line, so it's not super obvious, but it is something to note if you have a free edge to speak of. This is very color shifty. I was seeing all of the described colors on the nail. Um, I was actually a little surprised at how light this looked on the nail in comparison to the color that you were seeing in the bottle. That shimmer is very strong in this, so it kind of plays with um, the, base, the color that you see on your nails. Nothing in here was difficult to remove, and I did not have any staining. Bees Knees will have a second polish this month, and this one is called Boo. The inspiration for this one is bad horror movies. It's described as a ghost flaky topper with red to green and gold to green ghost flakies. It's priced at $14 and it has no cap. These flakies spread out evenly and easily. I am doing one coat over a black cream. I find that these flakies tend to appear best over darker colors. I'll have a swatch photo of this over um, the Bees Knees polish offering for the month. Over black, this one gave me a lot of Halloween fall vibes that I was loving. Next up, we have Cameo Colors Lacquer with Emily's Next Move. This one is inspired by the TV show Revenge and is described as a juicy red jelly base with scattered hollow sparkle, red hollow micro glitter, red to gold shifting glitter, black glitter, and silver hollow micro flakes. It's priced at $11.50 for 15 ml and has a cap of 105 bottles. This also had a great formula. It is on the sheer side, so there will be some visible nail line if you have much of a free edge. I found to get the color that you see in the bottle, I had to go in for three coats. It is extremely sparkly and holographic. And this actually dries down um, not nearly as textured as I thought it would. One coat of top coat smooths it out perfectly. I am a little disappointed that it was raining the day I swatched this one because I really would have liked to see uh, the holographic sparkle in the sun. But, you know, it's springtime so there is going to be a lot of rain. So I did not need to do anything special to get all of the glitters and various components to spread out on the nail. This was absolutely perfect. Juicy is the perfect word to describe this polish. It is very much a juicy jelly red polish. Nothing in here was super textured and removal will be a little tricky. I would recommend soaking it off. Next up is Color Spectrum Polish with Ice Cream You Scream. This is inspired by chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream and it's described as a creamy off-white base with copper shimmer, bronze micro flakies, and black square glitters. It's priced at $12 for 13 ml and has a cap of 115 bottles. This had a great Crelly formula. It applies a little patchy at first, but it evens out and builds up very nicely. 
This looks very much like um, cookie dough ice cream to me. The black square gl glitters are have a nice scattering on the nail. It reminds me a lot of um, chocolate chunk shapes. And I found that you did not need to hold the bottle upside down or anything like that to get good glitter coverage. The black square glitters are very sparse on the nail and then the bronze micro flakies are more dense all over the nail. This will be a two to three coater depending on your polishing style. I think shorter nails might be more likely to be able to get away with two coats, but depending on thickness of coats, this will be a two to three coater. This is another polish I wish I'd gotten uh, some sunlight shots for. As I was swatching it, it was raining, and as you can see here, it was just starting to get light out again, but it was still raining, and I was so mad because as I was removing this, the sun came out in full blast. I was so mad. <laughs> Removal shouldn't be too bad if you want to scrub that one off. Um, as always, I soak everything off though. Next up, we have Fancy Gloss with I Want Cake. I Need Cake. Inspiration for this one is cake, and it's described as a dark pink slash reddish in some lighting when cold to a neon orange slash yellow when warm, packed with blue to green to copper to gold clear flakies. It's priced at $12.50 for 15 ml and has a cap of 400 bottles. This had a wonderful formula. It felt slightly on the thicker side, but fairly normal for what I would say would be a flaky thermal polish. The flakies all spread out evenly and easily on their own and they are very dense on the nail. Fancy Gloss always does a really good flaky thermal, and this is no exception. This one was very tricky to get photographed. I found in my swatch photos, it's leaning very red. It's definitely a pinky red. Depending on the color of your lighting, it's going to lean more red, but all of my photos came out more red than I was seeing and color correcting was just not working for me. This had great coverage in two coats, but the third coat does deepen the color. No issues with staining and removal will be a typical flaky polish removal. Next up, we have Heather's Hues with Get Naked. <laughs> this one is inspired by candlelit bubble baths. It's described as a nude crelly with red to pink to gold shimmer, hollow flakies, and a mix of iridescent glitters. It's priced at $12.50 for 15 ml and has no cap. Get Naked had a great crelly formula. It was the perfect consistency and I did not have any application issues. The base color for this one is like a pinky nude Crelly. I found that the glitters and the flakies all spread out evenly and the hollow is like a light dusting on the nail. Um, this was slightly uneven in, in two coats. Um, I think shorter nails might be okay with uh, two thicker coats. I needed that third coat for to make it perfectly even. This was absolutely stunning. I am a new to, I'm a new person to liking um, these, the nude colors. And I thought this one was really, really pretty. I think this might even be um, close to skin toned color on some people. Obviously on me, I am not one of those people, but I do think it would be close to skin tone on some people. Um, nothing in here was difficult to remove and I did not have any uh, issues with staining. Now we have KB Shimmer with Everything is a Bouquet. This one is inspired by fresh cut flowers. It's described as a deep grape purple jelly nail polish with a strong green to blue shimmer. It's priced at $11 for 15 ml and it has no cap. This had a great formula that KB Shimmer is known for. Um, I didn't have any formula or application issues with this polish. The green to blue shimmer is very strong in this space and in case anyone was wondering, it looks great on hardwood floors. I, I Today I spilled the polish all over my floor, so that kind of sucked. <laughs> so the shimmer, it is just slightly brush strokey when wet, but I found for the most part, all of the brush strokes that you see in the shimmer when the polish is wet disappear once it is dry. Um, I've swatched quite a few polishes recently that are deep, grapey purple jellies, so I will have comparisons up in my comparisons video.
But this is not a dupe for any of the grapey kind of polishes that I have swatched recently. Um, sorry that the exposure level on my camera is so high for these. I brought this one outside and I don't know what was going on that day, but my camera settings were just all over the place. So this one looks a little crazy here. Um, it looks slightly better here. So in this shot here, I brought it into the shade and you can see that shimmer just looks absolutely stunning. This polish was really fun to swatch. I almost forgot how much I like this one until I was here looking at the pictures. <laughs> Nothing in here dried textured. I didn't have any issues with staining. Removal was easy. KB Shimmer is also bringing their absolutely fabulous sugar scrub to this month's polish pickup. This one is in the scent Freshly Blended. It's the inspiration is freshly blended beverages and it's described as a sweet and tropical melody of fresh berries, cantaloupe and lychee with sweet sugarcane and vanilla orchid. I have demoed this product before, not in the scent, but in previous videos as well over on my blog. So I won't be doing that again. Um, but this is one of my favorite sugar scrubs and the fragrance is absolutely delicious. Like it smells so good. Next up, we have Leisha's Lacquer with Berry Wine Spritzer. This one is inspired by Berry Wine Spritzers, and it's described as a berry-based multi-chrome with a pink to purple to blue shift and a dash of hollow. It's priced at $12 for 15 ml and has no cap. This had a wonderful formula. It was just slightly on the thicker side of normal, but it was very easy to work with. When I saw that this was a berry shade polish, I thought for sure I would have something similar in my collection, but this was very unique to my collection. I was pleasantly surprised about. The multi-chrome shimmer gives this a very cool look on the nail, and I feel like the base is on the warmer side, and the two combined give this really unique, cool tone look on the nail. And when Alicia said this has a dash of hollow in it, it is just packed with linear holographic and it looks super, super cool. I found the multi-chrome shimmer shift. I was seeing all of those colors in person. And I'll be honest, when I saw this one in the bottle, I wasn't super impressed. I kind of thought, meh. But once I got it on the nail, I was just like, holy cow, this is absolutely amazing. I think shorter nails will be good in two coats, but I will note that the third coat does deepen the color. You will definitely want top coat to add a nice shine to this polish. Nothing in here was difficult to remove and I did not have any staining. Next up, we have Moonflower Polish with Caramel Delight. This one is inspired by Girl Scout cookies known as Caramel Delights and Samoas depending on where you are from. This is described as a vampy neon purple base with a bronze to gold shifting magnetic shimmer with slight hints of red to green at extreme angles. It's priced at $12 for 15 ml and it has a cap of 100 bottles. This also had a wonderful formula. It was slightly on the thicker side, but it did apply very evenly and easily. I tend to find that magnetics tend to be on the thicker side generally. So this was opaque in two coats on me. I did go in for three coats. I originally was planning on magnetizing this third layer but then I decided not to magnetize this finger um so this third coat was <laughs> for no reason whatsoever the magnet does make the shimmer stand out more um it I wasn't really seeing much of a color shift on the nail it was like a bronzy gold and I wasn't really seeing the red or the green I think I might have seen like a hint of green but I wasn't really seeing like a very strong color shift I did really like the how the magnetic shimmer gave that an almost um, an antique look on the nail. So nothing in there was difficult to remove and I did not have any staining. Now we have a new to the channel brand. This is My Indie Polish with Special Blooms. This one is inspired by Tanya's love of gardening and her special bloom plant called the New Tree Peony. It's described as a green neon jelly with various purple and pink glitters of different sizes. It's priced at $12.50 for 15 ml and has no cap. Uh, spoiler, I believe this one is going to be my favorite polish for this entire month uh, for obvious reasons. So Special Blooms had a wonderful jelly formula. 
This is a bright neon green with a ton of various glitters. There are some large circle glitters and some star glitters. They do tend to sink slightly in the bottle, so I kept um, my bottle upside down between coats, but I found that the glitters all spread out evenly and easily on their own um, just because I have some issues. I did find myself dabbing, like here, uh, to get glitters in certain spots that I wanted. It's completely optional, especially if you have shorter nails. Because this is a neon, it, is, uh, it does glow under black light. Uh, this polish, I think, is going to be a solid three-coater on everyone. Um, the third coat deepens the color to what you see in the bottle. There will be some visible nail line if you go in for thin coats. And I will note that removal is going to be tricky, so definitely soak this one off or wear a peel-off base coat. I did not have any issues with staining. It was just beautiful. Next up, we have another new to the channel brand. This one is by Nevermind Polish. This one is inspired by fellow swatcher Swatch Slayer's new book called The Bearded Lumberjack. This one is described as a black polish packed with so much chrome and hollow flaky, you won't be able to stop staring at your nails. This one is priced at $12.50 for 15 ml and has a cap of 220 bottles. This had a great formula, not too thick or too, too thin. Um, I think shorter nails will probably be good in two coats. I am going to go in for three coats. And I also want to note that the brush that I'm using is their wide brush. Bottle sold during polish pickup will come with their standard skinny brush. The chrome flakies in this polish give it a really cool, um, like not quite, yeah, I'll call it metallic, <laughs> a metallic effect on the nail. It's really, really cool. Um, I found that in most of the lighting around my house, I was not really seeing the holographic, but then once I got it out in the sun, it was like, bam, hollow <laughs> on the nails. It was really something. And speaking of bam hollow, we have Never Enough Polish with Crush. The inspiration for this polish is a good glass of red wine and it's described as a deep and luscious wine red linear hollow with a dash of galaxy glitters. It's priced at $12 for 15 ml. For the US shop, it has no cap. For the UK shop, the cap is 20 bottles. Had a fantastic formula, not too thick or too thin and it was very opaque. I think shorter nails could definitely get away with doing um, one thicker coat. I ended up doing three coats for my photos and I, I mean my swatch video, and I don't really remember why. I think I might have had just a tiny bit of transparency on my tip, so I'm assuming natural nails will probably, probably be good in two coats. I would highly recommend wearing uh, a base coat with this polish, possibly even doubling up if you are prone to staining. I did not have any staining with this polish. It is very pigmented and I would assume anyone who is prone to staining might have some issues with this one without any base coat. Removal was easy on this one and on the previous polish as well. Next up is another new to the channel brand. This one is Pepper Pot Polish with Mac and Cheese. This one is inspired by Queso in a Can and it's described as a vibrant neon Neony yellow orange with orange aurora, shimmer, and gold glitter of mixed sizes. It's priced at $11 for 13 ml and it has no cap. This had a wonderful formula. It didn't feel overly thick or thin and I did not have any application issues. This is a very bright orange with like a touch of yellow. It's very much a neon um, craft macaroni and cheese type of orange. <laughs> The glitters and shimmer give this a nice low-key subtle sparkle. I found the glitters all spread out evenly and easily and don't give off very much texture when dry. Um, you get pretty good coverage in two coats, but um, the third coat adds more opacity to add to um, hide your visible nail line. And I found it deep in the color just a tad. This was my first time trying this brand and I am very impressed. This was really fun. And here is a black light shot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this polish. So um, nothing in here dry down textured. I used one coat of top coat to smooth it out completely. Um, removal will be a little tricky, I think, from those glitters. No issues with staining. Next up, we have Sassy Sauce Polish with Toes in the Water. 
This one, the inspiration are, are, are vacations, and it's described as a blue to green to purple shifting multi-chrome with blue to green to purple to pink to red shifting ghost flakies. It's priced at $12.50 for 15 ml and has a cap of 500 bottles. Toes in the Water had a wonderful formula. It was slightly on the sheer side, but it does build up really nicely. Um, alternatively, or alternatively, why am I doing this today? Um, this can be used, um, you can use it as a topper over black. I'll have a photo of that um, after the swatch. So this is a very color shifty polish. I was seeing all of uh, the described colors on the nails. I find that the ghost flakies are kind of tricky to photograph. Uh, so yeah, hard to photograph, but very beautiful in person. They kind of disappear uh, when you stop moving your nails. You really want to move your hand around to get the most out of those ghost flakies. So nothing in here dried down textured. I used one coat of top coat and it was perfectly smooth. I did not have any issues with staining or removal with this polish. Next up, we have Swamp Gloss with Dorothy. This one is inspired by Dorothy from Twister of all things. <laughs> um, and it's described as a yellow jelly with red to gold to green shimmer and orange to green to blue flakes. This one's priced at $13 for 15 ml and has a cap of 300 bottles. Dorothy had a great formula. It is on the sheer side, so you will definitely want to build this one up. Um, there still will be some visible nail line after three coats, so I will have a photo of this in two coats over a blurring base coat. Um, so this is like a warm, lemony, yellow type color with color shifting flakies. The flakies look absolutely amazing in this base, and they all dry down fairly smooth. I did go in for a slightly thicker second coat to make sure that the opacity um, on the clear part of my nail wasn't as obvious, <laughs> to be honest, that's all I did it for. Um, I don't think you would have to do that for natural nails. Um, but yeah, three normal size coats. I wouldn't recommend super, super thin coats, but I would recommend three normal coats to get a good amount of opacity. This does dry down dull, so you will want top coat to really make those flakies pop. And there is Stormy, and this is why I have so much cat hair everywhere. <laughs> she is all over the place in this room. Uh, I love her, though. So yeah, here it is outside. Look at those flakies. Yeah, I really, really love this polish. It was really fun. Um, removal will be typical flaky polish removal. Next up, we have Sweet and Sour Lacquer with Love That Chicken Sandwich. Uh, this one is inspired by the infamous chicken sandwich from Popeyes. It's described as an orange jelly with a mix of orange, green, gold, hollow glitters in varying sizes, as well as matte white glitters. It's priced at $12.15 for 15 ml and has a cap of 200 bottles. This had a great formula. Um, as you saw there, I was super <laughs> obsessive. I don't know why I was so like obsessed with glitter coverage on the first coat. I don't know why I was doing that. You don't need to do that, especially on the first coat. You really don't need to do that, but that's what I was doing. Um, so yeah, this has great coverage in three coats. You will have some visible nail line after three coats, but it's kind of minimal. This has just so much glitter in it that it's going to highly distract from visible nail line. I also found that this is so ridiculously sparkly that my camera and my eyeballs were kind of freaking out at just the level of sparkle in this polish. It was really, really cool. So this is extremely holographic. I will have a um, out of focus shot coming up because it was just, I don't know, there was just so much going on and I just could not get the hollow to sparkle. Here, here it's coming up. So this does dry down um, pretty textured. You're going to want at least two coats of top coat. I used one coat of glitter grabber and then one coat of glossy top coat on top of that and that was perfectly smooth. Removal is going to be tricky just because the sheer amount of glitter in this polish so definitely soak this one off. If you soak it off you will not have any issues or of course you can use a peel off base coat if that's more your jam. Next up we have Twisting Nether Lacquer with I Apologize for Nothing. <laughs> This one is inspired by Hedonism Bop from Futurama, and it's described as a gold polish with gold galaxy hollow glitters, 
purple metallic glitters in various shapes and sizes and purple metallic micro flakes as well as some UCC flakies. It's priced at $13 for 15 ml and has a cap of 150 bottles. So this had a great formula. Um, I also, before I forget to add, uh, Twisting Nether Lacquer does have new um, round bottles as well as a new cap and a new brush. Um, if you're familiar with the Heather's Hughes bottle style, um, Twisting Nether Lacquer now has that one and it has the wide paddle brush. As I was saying, great formula. Um, I really love this polish. I don't know why I didn't include it in my favorites at the end. Spoiler, sorry. Uh, yeah, this was really, really stunning. It had a jelly-like formula. Um, it is on the sheer side, so you will want to build it up. You will still have some visible nail line at some angles with this polish after three coats. Um, I will have a photo of this one with uh, the blurring base coat at the end. This is very holographic, very sparkly. Removal will be tricky if you try to scrub this one off, so definitely soak it off or wear a peel-off base coat. Um, no issues with staining or anything like that with this polish. And the final polish I have to share is by Zombie Claw Polish, and this one is called Sweet Liar. This one is inspired by the romance novel by Jude DeVroe, and it's described as a deep violet base with hollow flakies and blue to green to purple color shifting flakies. It's priced at $13 for 13 ml and has a cap of 200 bottles. Sweet Liar had a wonderful formula. Um, it is a really beautiful violet base and the flakies give it a almost multi-chrome shimmer like effect on the nail. Um, so it's described as having purple to green to blue flakies. I wasn't really seeing green too much on the nail. I was mostly just seeing um, the purple and the blue. I think this will be a three coater for pretty much everyone. You might be able to get away with two thicker coats, but I think three coats, it looks best in three coats. This was absolutely stunning on the nails and the hollow flakies give this a really nice sparkle. Another spoiler, this is another polish that I wish I had put in my favorites. I tried to limit how many I had this month and I regret it. <laughs> So nothing in here dried down textured and removal will be pretty easy. So that's everything. Um, and now for the portion where I talk about my personal favorites from when I swatched. So my top pick for this month would have to be the My Indie Polish polish called Special Blooms. I just, I, <laughs> you guys know, I love just chunky glitter polishes. I love, love, love them. And I love neons, obviously. Ooh, Isabel. Okay. So Isabel has decided to join me. Were you eating cat food? You look like you were eating cat food. Such is life. Next up for my next favorite is another new to me brand. This one is Pepper Pot Polish with Mac and Cheese. I just loved how ridiculously bright this polish is. Like, I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was absolutely fantastic, and this was a great formula. Next favorite, if you've been watching the videos, you know. How could I not say the yellow wasn't a favorite? So this one is Swamp Gloss with Dorothy. I love this jelly base. I thought it was absolutely phenomenal. It was super beautiful, and it's yellow. 2021 is the year of yellow for me, so I love this one. Next favorite would be the Leisha's Lacquer. I was really surprised at how much I like this one. In the bottle, I didn't think it looked like like a polish that I would personally like. And once I got it on my nail, I was just like, it's really, really beautiful. The last favorite I have is Bees Knees Lacquer with Awakened. Um, so this one looks, I feel like, it looks totally different on the nail than it does in the bottle. I feel like on the nail it looks a lot lighter in color. And the high shimmer was super beautiful. Just an all around stunning polish. So that's it for my favorites. Um, like I said, Polish Pickup is open now. It will be open all weekend and closing on um, Monday at like midnight, I think. Um, so I have already shopped Polish Pickup. I was good this month. Um, I'll pop my list of what I got here in the corner. Uh, so these were at the pol so for how I shop polish pickup, I go in as soon as the shop opens and I grab things that are capped that I know will sell out that I really, really want. 
And then I kind of trickle back in at some point over the weekend to grab other things. So this is what I've gotten so far. <laughs> um, I would love to know what have you picked up? Are you going to pick anything up at all? Um, I would just love to know. I am nosy. I'm genuinely curious what people want to pick up. So um, I will talk to you on the next one. Bye.